Okay, so basically today I'm just going to go over the last part of the session that we did, um, which was drawing half of the bow. This is part of your home task, so it would be good if you could have it done by then. So the first thing that's been really helpful is we are going to bring up our rulers, which is Command R. And as you can see, when I've pressed Command R, I've now got on the screen the ruler on the top part, which is going um, horizontally, and I've got it going vertically as well. Now the idea actually is to draw half of the bow, including the tie, and then we're going to reflect it on the other side. Now as we did with the necklace, we actually drew part of the necklace and we sent it to the back and to the front. We arranged those objects so that they would be hidden. So all I want you to do for the next session is just to draw half of this bow. So the first thing I'm going to get you to do is make sure that you have a new layer. So we need to lock this layer. We need to go to the drop down box and actually select new layer and make sure that we're working on layer two. So you can actually call this my version or my bow. It's entirely up to you. And then we're going to click OK. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our uh, vertical ruler um, and we're going to actually create a guide. So if you click on the ruler and drag, you'll see a line has appeared on the screen. And when you're quite happy that you've reached the center of your bow, you can then let go. And now you can see that I've actually got a red line going down the center of the screen. I'm not happy with it being in the center, so I'm just going to double check it is actually in the center. Let's go a bit closer. And if I click back on this guide, actually you'll see as soon as I go a little bit closer to it, the tail of the um, arrow actually disappears, which means that I can now move that line. So let's go and move it a little bit closer. Uh, let's get really accurate. So as you can see, I've kind of used this as a guide to check that that is the center. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a stroke color. So remember, by getting a stroke color, we need to go to this box here. If we double click, we can select any color. I'm going to select a yellow, just so that it's a bit brighter. So I've actually used this slider and it goes across all the colors as you can see I'm going to go to the brightest yellow and I'm going to select OK. Now I've got my stroke color I'm ready to draw so I'm going to use my pen tool select my pen tool and the first thing I'm going to draw actually is this part of the bow. Now the idea is that when we finish drawing the whole bow we'll be able to arrange parts of the bow so that it will be hidden. So I'm going to make sure on purpose that I'm going to, when I before I draw this part, I'm going to go slightly in to the bow section. Let me just go a bit closer. So I'm not going to go exactly and finish right where the bow actually finishes. I'm going to go a little bit in. Okay, well, when we get to the session, it will make it a lot clearer. So first of all, I'm just going to start here and I'm going to follow my line. Okay, I'm going to click again, come around here to draw this curve and drag out. And again, as I said, the idea is to go as slowly to make sure that um, the curve is smooth. You don't want too many points here, otherwise it ends up being very difficult to amend. So I've come back in here and I'm going to close my shape. Remember when you close your shape, you're going to hover over the first point. And as you can see, when I go over the top, there's a circle, which means if I click here now, I would have completed my shape. And as we mentioned before, when we work in Illustrator, we work in shapes, complete shapes. It makes it easy to color and it makes it easy to move around an object from around the page without it becoming fragmented. So the next part I'm going to do is the actual tie. So again, a bit strange, but I'm going to start here. Actually, let's start here. I'm going to go straight across. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to go to the end. I'm going to go back up, down again. And I'm going to come back and join my point again, making sure that my curve is the same shape as the original. 
And as you can see, it's a little bit strange here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my white arrow tool and I'm going to come back over that point that I'm not really happy with. I'm not happy with the curve. So I click on there and I get my anchor arm. So I can actually move this curve and reshape it appropriately. Okay, let's move that a bit over. Okay, so we've got our bow part, we've got our tie, we need to draw the knot. So we're actually going to get our pen tool again. And this time we're only going to, remember we're going to reflect everything. So we only need to do half of the knot. So let's go a bit closer. Get our zoom tool. Okay, so you can see a bit closer. So it's important actually that you get right on this line here making sure that you're, when you flip it, it will be exactly halfway. So again, we're gonna come here for this part of the knot, we, for this part of the bow. Let's go back a bit. For this part of the bow, you're gonna make sure that it is relatively the same shape. You don't need to go over. So again, I'm just gonna check that that is in line, which I think it is just to make sure. And then the last bit that I'm going to draw is actually this little pleat that appears in the bow. Okay, so we've got half of our bow ready to go for the next session. And then what we're going to do is take this whole section here and we're going to reflect it. But we're going to, I'm gonna teach you that at the next session. So any problems, if you make any mistakes, just do command set to undo. Enjoy.